Hello everybody, you use K92 here for the NXT TakeOver Dallas review. And again, NXT TakeOver never disappoints. This was really good. Uh pretty much every match was good. I liked uh all the matches so far. Uh, a couple endings I didn't like too much, and you know, a couple little things here and there, but overall amazing fucking show as always, NXT on point. Not returning the background, please enjoy that. Uh, opening match was American Alpha, Jason Jordan, and Chad Gable versus The Revival, Scott Dawson, and freaking um, I forgot the other guy's name now, <laughs> Dash Wilder, there we go, NXT tag titles on the line, fucking uh, American Alpha comes out with these awesome track suits, they look fucking great, I hope they keep them just for the big pay-per-view stuff. American Alpha Super Over. I love the crowd in here. The crowd was fucking was was sold a lot of the fucking pay per view. Uh, fucking um, fucking crazy botch by Dash and Dawson. They were trying to do this whole like electric chair thing. It didn't work out. Botchamania chance running. What? It was a really bad botch. Like it was pretty bad. Uh, Jason Jordan with an awesome hot tag. Suplex City all around. The motherfucker is just Taz reincarnated. Jason Jordan is getting really good. He's even getting his own chance now, so that's a good sign. Uh, fucking. So many fucking near falls. So, Chad Gable had this near fall exchange where he probably did, like, 9 million roll-ups. That was awesome. Like, the crowd was just like, come on already. Please win. But American Alpha fucking get the win. And Jordan sneak tags in. Gets the shoulder block in the corner. They land their fucking assist. Fucking German double suplex thing. With the bridge, American Alpha is your new tag team champions. I love that the Revival was cheating so... Like, the Revival probably did a million different cheating tactics. Which I'm like, you don't fucking see that these fucking things. Because everybody wants to be the cool heel. Like, they were actually getting legit heel. Like, people in the crowd were super fucking pissed off. And I'm like, that's how you be a heel. Like, you don't, like... You don't try to be cool. You just go out there and get heat like the original way. You know what I'm saying? So, really, really, really dig the revival for that. So, again, American Alpha, new tag team champs. Awesome to see. And they cut to the crowd and they show fucking Kota Ibushi, if you don't know from New Japan, who's a fucking amazing godlike wrestler, by the way. Is on the fucking crowd and not my jaw dropped to the floor. I was like, Kota fucking Ibushi. If you fucking get Kota Ibushi in NXT, I'm done. The Asian invasion is real, people. Triple H is reading my mind. Next match is Baron Corbin, young god himself, BC versus Austin Aries. I really dig Austin Aries' theme song, by the way. It's really cool. Baron Corbin had this sick vest on with a bunch of, like, dead animals and shit. But, like, the skull of the dead animals on the shoulder looked pretty cool. If you know Baron Corbin in personal stuff, like, he's kind of into, like, dead stuff and weird stuff like that. He's a weird guy. He's a weird guy, but he's cool. Uh, Baron Corbin... You know, takes control of the match. He is destroying Austin Aries. Austin Aries gets a little bit, you know. Austin Aries tries to take it to Baron Corbin in the first five seconds. Baron Corbin's trash talk is amazing in this whole match. He's fucking making me laugh. Like, the guy's killing it with the trash talking. Interacting with the fans and stuff. Fucking Austin Aries tries to make a comeback. On the outside, Corbin lands a sick deep six on the outside. It was nice. Again, he is dominating. About to go for the end of days. Austin Aries switches it up. Locks in a roll up. One, two, three. Blah. Again. I understand. It's a way to give Austin Aries his first win in NXT. Because I really thought Baron Corbin was going to win. You know? But I understand. It's a way to give Austin Aries his win and not make Baron Corbin look weak. Which I'm like, eh, that's the best way you can go. Because I didn't want Austin Aries to lose his first match. But I also didn't want Baron Corbin to lose. Because Corbin... Corbin could be big, man. Corbin could be a lot of money, especially, like, he. we need a new, someone new for Finn to fight, you know? And that would be perfect to have Baron Corbin go against Finn. So, at least, Baron Corbin looked good. He controlled the whole match, so no problems here. And pretty, pretty much one of the match, not my match of the year, probably on third or second on my list. Nothing's going to ever beat fucking Shinsuke Nakamura versus AJ Styles at Wrestle Kingdom 10. I mean, nothing. Or fucking Okada and fucking Tanahashi through fucking 5,000 at Wrestle Kingdom 10. But this is definitely number three, my favorite match of the year so far. Sami Zayn versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Crowd is singing Sami Zayn's themes on when he comes out. Shinsuke Nakamura has a beast theme song. Not better than his New Japan theme, but it's super good. Shinsuke is on point, man. We're hitting all his offense. 
fucking guys exchange elbow shots for about five minutes straight. Fucking amazing. Nakamura's nose gets busted open. He takes the blood, wipes it away, starts elbowing the shit out of um, Sammy, beating the crap out of him. Sammy selling is amazing in this match as always. The guy is a fucking amazing storytelling. Uh, Nakamura sees his own blood. He starts going nuts on him. Sammy starts going nuts on him with the disrespect. Like, dude, this match is, this match is too good. Like, can't be described in words. It's that good. Amazing stiff match. Uh, S Sammy locks in the Koji clutch. Shinsuke gets out of it. Shinsuke tries to go for the bomb by A&E. Sammy gets out of it. Hits the blue thunderbomb for an amazing near fall. Fucking Sammy goes for the torpedo DDT. Shinsuke switches it around and kicks his fucking head off. While he's doing the move, it looked really awesome. Because Sammy just kind of lied there dead. Sammy's selling is what made this match even more amazing. Fucking Bombay knee to the back of the head. Bombay knee again. Two fucking Bombay knee strike. I forgot what he's calling it. It's super weird. I, I'm just going to call it Bombay knee. Bombay knee strike for the win. Amazing fucking match. Everyone needs to go see this match. This match is fucking amazing. Standing ovation from the crowd. Sammy gets a standing ovation from the crowd himself. His theme song hits as Sammy Zayn's last match in NXT. Super sad to see, but the guy's got a lot of shit to do on the main roster, so. Next match is Bailey versus Asuka. Again, this match was kind of scaring me because I really, really, really thought Bailey was going to win. But no, Asuka is your new women's champion. I am so fucking happy. Crowd with all the freaking Bailey songs, man. Uh, good back and forth. Uh, I, I was shocked to see Bailey controlling like 70% of the match. Asuka was getting some shit in, but Bailey was in control the whole match. Was that, it was a good match, by the way, too. Um, uh, weird to see it though. I you usually don't see Bailey being the controller. Fucking, fucking Oscar keeps going for the Oscar lock over and over and over again. She finally cinches it in while she catches Bailey off guard. Bailey does not tap out. She passes out. So that's a good for a rematch right there. Like Bailey never gave up basically. The sad, disappointed look on Bailey's face while Asuka celebrating. Asuka gives no fucks, by the way. Like, no handshake, no nothing. Asuka's just smiling at her, which I thought was great. Asuka walks away. Bailey's just, like, loathing in the corner. So, good shit right there. I'm so fucking glad to have Asuka as our fucking champion. I love Bailey, but it's time. It's beta time. Main event time. Joe versus Finn. Finn comes out with the demon. And who the fuck do we see in the crowd? Bobby Roode, Robert Roode, whatever you want to call him, in the NXT crowd. The crowd loses their fucking mind, by the way. I'm so happy that Bobby Roode got a, a, a reaction like that. Triple H, please, if you sign Kota Ibushi and Bobby Roode, like, I don't even know what to tell Triple H. Like, Triple H, please, Triple H Senpai. Fucking Finn comes out with a different demon, very Spider-Man looking demon with the red and blue. I'm glad to see he changed the colors finally. Comes out with a chainsaw and a trench coat. Looked pretty cool actually. It's finally something super different. Like he didn't do the whole crawling thing. He was just going nuts with the chainsaw screaming everywhere. So I thought that was awesome. Fucking Joe's eyes get busted open in the first five seconds of the match because both guys headbutt each other. And it is pretty bad. Like, he is bleeding, like, everywhere. Fucking. So, you see Joe covered in blood, and I'm like, Joe is going to stiff the shit out of Finn. Like, Joe chucks Finn to a fucking security guard in the front row. Like, I mean chucks this man. Like, I literally think Finn had no say in the matter. It was amazing. Joe is stiff. Stiffing the living shit out of Finn this whole match. This match is fucking awesome, by the way. But then the problem, his eye was busted open pretty bad. Fucking, and the doctors got involved in this match like a thousand times. Like, I understand, you know, you gotta wipe away the blood. I understand that. But, like, he's a fucking, like, how long has Joe been doing this? Like, a little bit of blood is just gonna add to the match. And it did. Like, seeing Joe covered in blood while he was beating the living piss out of Finn Balor was fucking awesome. Like, that just added to the match. So, crowd was chanting, fuck PG, let them fight, let them be, because it was getting kind of ridiculous by the end of so many times the doctors kept getting involved. Even Joe's just like, get the fuck off me, he pushed the ref off the way, like, he didn't push the doctors out of the way, but he was just like, I can't take this anymore, like, leave me alone. So fucking, 
Joe, uh, Joe continues to beat the living piss out of Finn. Finn tries to make a comeback here and there, hitting a lot of sling blades, a lot of drop kicks. Fucking... I was, like, going crazy. Fucking... All the crowd chants were fucking hilarious, by the way. Like, a thousand doctors everywhere. Fucking, the doctors are getting all the heat in this match. So, fucking, uh, Joe finally hits the muscle buster, and he gets a two count. I do not see a lot of people kick out of that move, so even I was just like, what? But fucking, it's on. Finn hits, you know, Finn hits the sling blade, drop kick, coup de gras, about to go for 1916, you know, bloody Sunday, whatever. Uh, Joe reverses it into the choke. Uh, Finn passes out, but I think he was playing possum, and he passes out, but he gets a fucking, like, reverse roll-up. One, two, three, Joe, fucking Finn beats Samoa Joe. I'm very disappointed. I really, really hope they would have put the title on fucking, um, the title on Joe, but I kind of see where this is going now. There is only one man that could take that title off Finn, and his name is Shinsuke Nakamura. That's the only fucking person the only fucking person that could take out that's the only person that could beat Finn if they set up that match that match is going to be fucking money again definitely you can see Joe is going to the main roster even the way he just ends the match he's like left angrily stared but just like left like okay you beat me you beat me again uh, this is a great main event. The Doctor stuff was kind of annoying, but I understand why they do it. But again, I kind of wish they could have let it slide a little bit, a little bit, you know. But it was a lot of blood, though. Like, I understand them coming in and stuff, so. NXT TakeOver Dallas, fucking amazing, pretty much. Like, again, everything was good. We had two title changes. Fucking Asuka, main waifu for life, who waifu for... Uh, for eternity, won the fucking women's title. American Alpha is the fucking champs so are freaking awesome. Uh, you know, fucking good to see Austin Aries make his debut. Fucking let it be known we had Samoa Joe, Austin Aries, and Bobby Roode in one a whole takeover special. I was just like TNA invasion confirmed. TNA invasion confirmed. <laughs> oh my god. So again, that's it for me. I even said WrestleMania. Good luck. You know, they got some plans, I heard, for Sh for Shane and Undertaker. Good luck topping that Shinsuke Nakamura and Sami Zayn match. Good fucking luck, you know what I'm saying? Like, right now on the card, I see no match that can top that. So, that's it for me. I'll catch you guys next time. Like, subscribe, talk to me about NXT in the background. That's it. Oh, oh Neji's dead. Spoiler alert, Neji's dead. I thought no one was going to kill your friends.
this is going to happen again and again all the things